Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a hot topic. We want to check out the newest member of the tactical missile family. Get your coffee ready and sit back as we enter the tech world. I will explain everything simply so you can enjoy this deep dive together. The Martyr Haj Qasim Soleimani missile is officially the newest solid fuel ballistic missile. This all Iranian missile is considered an engineering masterpiece with truly unique characteristics. When we talk about tactical missiles, high speed and precision matter the most. Let's see what specifications this 11 meter giant has to make it special. First of all, let's look at its appearance and dimensions, which are impressive. The length is about 11 meters, and the weight is announced around 7 tons. You might say 7 tons is heavy, but engineers built it with carbon fiber. This composite material makes the body lighter to have more energy for speed. The scary part for defense systems is the detachable warhead weighing 500 kilograms. That means half a ton of explosives can separate and head for the target. The accuracy of this warhead is reported under 10 meters, meaning pure pinpointing. This high precision allows it to destroy very small and vital targets easily. Now let's move to the operational range, a vital factor for military analysts. The range is announced at 1400 kilometers, giving great access to distant targets. Of course, some sources say this missile has the capacity for 1,800 kilometers. This means Haj Qasim can easily monitor the enemy's strategic depth from afar. But what really gives you goosebumps is the terrifying speed of this ballistic missile. Its speed upon re-entering the atmosphere reaches Mach 12, 12 times sound speed. Even at the moment of impact, its speed is around Mach 5, looking unstoppable. With this speed, defense systems will have very little time to react properly. Even when it hits the target, it travels at five times the speed of sound. This kinetic energy alone adds to the explosive power of the warhead significantly. It effectively turns into a massive bullet that no concrete bunker can easily withstand. Dealing with a projectile moving this fast is a nightmare for any radar operator. You might ask, how can it hit the target accurately at such speed? Final guidance is done using aerodynamic fins that are designed to be very advanced. These fins correct the path until the very last moment to zero out errors. Aerodynamic control at hypersonic speeds is a complex technology used right here effectively. The launcher or firing platform of this missile has an interesting story too. This missile is mounted on a tactical mobile trailer capable of rapid movement. It can fire and immediately change location to avoid being identified and hit. This mobility feature guarantees the survival of the missile in modern battlefields today. One major advantage of Haj Qasim is using solid fuel instead of liquid. Solid fuel means the missile is always ready to fire without fueling time. This immediate reaction capability is vital in modern wars, where seconds determine everything. Commanders can issue and execute the launch order in the shortest possible time. Maneuverability and high-altitude flight are also key features of this specific missile. It's designed to stay out of the range of enemy anti-missile systems. It adjusts its flight path so enemy radars get confused and cannot lock. Officials said this missile can pass through many modern defensive shields quite successfully. The deputy defense minister described the control and stability mechanism as unprecedented here. This means its balance and flight systems are a level above previous models. The combination of a composite body and new aerodynamic design gives it maneuverability. This agility makes predicting the impact path almost impossible and hard for enemies. Let's take a look at the history of this missile's birth and unveiling. This missile was unveiled on August 20th, 2020 on National Defense Industry Day. They named it Haj Qasim to remember the martyred commander as a power symbol. The unveiling showed that sanctions could not stop the country's missile progress at all. Technically, this missile is considered the new advanced generation of the Fateh 110 family. The Fateh family has always been known for high accuracy. Now this is a masterpiece. Missiles like Zulfikar and Dezful are the older brothers built before this one, but Haj Qasim with longer range and heavier warhead is a huge leap. 
It's interesting to know that the design and construction were 100% domestic. The Aerospace Industries Organization of the Defense Ministry was fully responsible for production. All parts from the engine to electronic systems were made by Iranian experts. These missiles are scheduled to be delivered to the IRGC Aerospace Force soon. There is another version coming called Qasim Basir, which is very interesting indeed. They say this new version has an optical guidance system operational by 2025. Although its range is slightly less at 1,200 kilometers, its precision is terrifying. Optical guidance means the missile can see the target and hit with surgical precision. What was the main goal of building such a missile? Increasing strategic depth. Iran wants to show its enemies that if they make a mistake, they pay. This missile is a tool to keep the shadow of war away from the country. With such range, Iran can neutralize threats before they reach the national borders. According to commanders, this missile is designed to hit sensitive and vital enemy targets. Things like power plants, military bases, and strategic infrastructure are on its target list. The destructive power of the 500-kilogram warhead can level any facility to the ground. This ability makes the enemy reconsider their calculations regarding attacking the country seriously. Of course, political officials always emphasize that Iran's strategy is defensive and deterrent. The president at the time stated these missiles would not be used against neighbors. The main goal is creating peace through strength and preventing any foreign aggression. The message is clear. We are not warmongers, but we are ready for war. If we compare, few countries in the region have a missile with these specs. Perhaps only Pakistan with the Gauri 3 missile can compete with this system somewhat. But in terms of guidance technology and precision, Hajj Qasim is world-class modern. The Fateh series started from 700 kilometers and has now reached 1400 kilometers. Let's have a quick summary of the ranges of this missile family for clarity. Fateh 313 had 500 kilometers, Zulfikar had 700 kilometers, and Dezful had 1000 kilometers. Now, Haj Qasim with 1400 kilometers and Kaber Shikan with 1450 kilometers are the record holders. This shows Iranian missile engineering has focused on increasing range and precision simultaneously. The important point is that the Ministry of Defense builds and delivers to the IRGC. This cooperation between industry and operational forces makes the final product very practical. Every week we hear new reports of mass delivery to combat units nationwide. This means many of these missiles are now ready in underground silos waiting. Ultimately, the Hajj Qasim missile is a symbol of technical ability and national defense. The mix of hypersonic speed, composite body, and pinpoint accuracy makes it a nightmare. This missile shows that in future wars, technology will have the final word, and Iran has shown that it has a lot to say in this tech game. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this technical review and increased your knowledge today. I tried to speak to you based only on technical facts without bias. Don't forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button right now. Write in the comments what weapon you want us to review next. Cheers!